Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center, and today we're taking a look at a pair of famous micro knives, pitting the Spyderco Ladybug against the Case Peanut. Let's do this. When it comes to a classic small pocket knife that still maintains a good amount of usability, the two favorites around here that immediately come to mind are the Case Peanut and the Spyderco Ladybug. While they fill a similar role, they couldn't be more different. You've got something more traditional with the case, but something very modern with the Spyderco. But both take up nearly no room in your pocket. You won't be breaking down tons of boxes or doing any kinds of really heavy work with it, but you can still open packages or letters or cut any small things very easily. And honestly, that's going to be more than enough for most people. So speaking of those blades, with the Spyderco Ladybug, you do get some one-hand opening functionality, thanks to their signature opening hole in the blade. And despite the small size, it's still very easy to use. And it even gives a nice thumb ramp to aid in how you hold the knife because of the way the hole sits in the blade. The quality is very good. As you can see from this side of the blade, they're made in Seki City, Japan. And on the other side, you see that this steel is VG10, which is a great stainless with good edge holding qualities. But there are upgraded steel options too, including ZDP 189, HAP 40, and the Rustproof H1 if you're looking for a few different options. The case, on the other hand, is American made, and they use Case's True Sharp Stainless Steel, which is essentially 420HC. It won't hold an edge as long as the VG10 on the Spyderco, but to make up for that, you do get an extra edge. You can bring two blades to bear against your daily tasks, including a longer clip point blade that's a little bit shy of two inches of usable edge, and a shorter pen blade, which has about one and three eighths of an inch of edge. And this compares to about one and three quarters of an inch of edge on the Spyderco Ladybug. Now for a long time, the Peanut has been something of a prototypical small knife, but you can actually see it's a little bit larger than the Ladybug. With the blade open, I get a three finger hold on the Peanut with my hands, whereas the Spyderco has a two and a half finger grip. But despite that, it's still easy to hold on to. Credit for that goes to the finger grooves, which give you something to index with, as well as their bi-directional FRN which features a radial pattern with raised peaks that's designed to maintain retention both forward and backward. Now, Spyderco is known for putting a wide range of variants out of any given model, especially a classic one like the Ladybug, where they switch things up by changing out the steel or the handle materials, but even so, they don't even come close to the sheer number of peanut handle variants out there. I've got two of them here in front of me. This one features a chestnut brown bone, as well as a caliber peanut featuring a camouflage Zytel handle, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. You've got options for jigged bone, wood, delrin, stag, antique yellow synthetics, kiranite, different shields on the covers. There's tons and tons of options at a range of different prices. Now, if you like the classic aesthetics of the peanut, but you want the modern aspects of the Spyderco, then this Knife Center exclusive Ladybug is worth checking out. Not only do we get a laminated blade with this model with a HAP40 core for more edge retention, but we also get stabilized packa wood scales. This gives you that classic look without having to worry about shrinking or cracking, and it's proven to be a very long-lasting material, but it still has the warmth of real wood. You also get an extra level of security with the Ladybug because we have a lockback mechanism. And it also features the boy dent. Now they use this little feature on a lot of their knives, but it's even more important on the smaller designs like this Ladybug. What that dent adds is it actually helps you to keep from accidentally disengaging the lock if you're really bearing down on the knife. And because of the way you hold the Ladybug, it's extra important here, because you wouldn't want your thumb pressing in when you squeeze on the handle. The case, however, does not lock. It is a slip joint, which is as classic of a pocket knife as there is. It does have a half stop, though, for a degree of safety, and it's really satisfying to use. Now there's no pocket clips on either of these knives. You are just gonna have to slip them into your pockets, but they're small enough they can fit in that fifth jean pocket to stay out of the way if you needed to. The Spyderco also comes with a lanyard hole. Now you can add a fob to this knife to increase the effective grip length or make it easier to fish out of your pocket. And you can even attach it to a key ring if you wanted to. So what do you all look for in a small knife? Would you rather take the traditional looks of the case peanut or the modern convenience of the Spyderco Ladybug. Be sure to let us know in the comments, and to get your hands on one for yourself, use the links in the description to head over to KnifeCenter.com. You've got something very, no, oh, shit, I picked the wrong knives up. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, why are they all talking about Miami? But it's still easy to hold on, hold on to. 
but it's still easy to hold on to. I said hold on to again. Jeez. <laughs> Miami. <laughs>